Teenage girl and her soon-to-be A simple trip far as they could see The sky was clear and the hour serene But did they know what the night would bring? Strung across the land They've been waiting long For a healing hand My heart was there And I felt the chill Love came down And the earth stood still Love came down And the earth stood still Shepherd stirred under starry skies Tasting grace that would change their lives The angels trembled and the demons did too For they knew very well what your grace would do
the hope of the world and a baby boy. I remember him well like I was there that night. My heart was there and I felt the chill. Love came down and the earth stood still. Love came down and the earth stood still. Love came down and the earth stood still. Welcome to St. David's and our family liturgy for Christmas Eve. We're so glad that you're attending and we'd love to know who's attending with you and where you're at. Please do put that in the comments on our Facebook page or on YouTube. If you're new to St. David's and are interested in more information about getting involved, please fill out the guest card on the newcomers page of our website. Amy Mankey, our director, will get back to you very soon. This service was recorded earlier. We're glad that you've joined us and we'll be joining from our homes. A link to the bulletin is pinned in the comments and is also available for download from the worship page. Light and peace in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Today we remember Jesus and the story of his birth. Jesus, Jesus is, is our, our King. King. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. Jesus, Jesus is, is our, our way. way. With Jesus, even dark places are light. Jesus, Jesus is, is the, the truth. truth. In Jesus, we shall live forever. Jesus, Jesus is, is our life. Jesus said, you are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. No one lights a lamp to put it under a bucket, but on a lampstand where it gives light for everyone in the house. And you, like the lamp, must shed light among your fellow people so that they may see the good you do and give glory to your Father in heaven. Almighty God, we give you thanks for surrounding us as daylight fades with the brightness of the Vesper light. And we implore you of your great mercy that as you enfold us with the radiance of this light, so you would shine into our hearts the brightness of your Holy Spirit through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, you have poured upon us the new light of your incarnate word. Grant that this light, enkindled in our hearts, may shine forth in our lives. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 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 Oh, 
gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices. O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds.
Alleluia. To us a child is born. Come, Come let, let us, us adore, adore him. him. Alleluia. Alleluia. Holy Jesus, by being born one of us and lying humbly in a manger, you show us how much God loves the world. Let the light of your love always shine in our hearts until we reach our home in heaven and see you on your throne of glory. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation, you have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. 
Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is more to be feared than all gods. As for all the gods of the nations, they are but idols, but it is the Lord who made the heavens. Oh, oh, the, the majesty, majesty and magnificence of his presence. presence. Oh, oh, the power and the splendor of his sanctuary. sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord honor and power. Ascribe, Ascribe to, the to the Lord the honor due his name. Bring, Bring offerings and, and come into his, his courts. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell, Tell it out, out among, among the nations. nations. The, the Lord, Lord is king. He, he has made, made the world so firm that it cannot be moved. He will, he will judge, judge the peoples with equity. equity. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder and all that is in it. Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. Then, then shall all the trees of the wood shout for joy before the Lord when he comes, when he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, Lord Christ. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. 
Then the angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, you Lord, Lord Christ. Christ. Hi, friends. Most times on Christmas Eve, I would be sitting with you here in Bethel Hall, or I might have seen you a few minutes earlier running around dressed as an angel or a donkey or a sheep over at the historic church. It's not the same to not be together, but we are still together, together in God's love, together as one church family. So I welcome you to our worship on Christmas Eve. It's almost Christmas. We can finally say, as the sun is setting, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> so this is the darkest time of the year. The days are short, with the light going away, the night coming the night coming even before bedtime for a lot of you, I bet. We've been waiting for the light to come back. And this year it seems like we've been waiting and waiting and waiting for the light for Jesus. But the light has come back. The days have started getting longer. Even if it's much too soon, for us to see it. We know that this is true. The light is coming back, and now Christmas is here. The mystery of light on earth comes to light the way. So all through the season of Advent, we've been waiting. The light started with just one blue candle, blue for expectation, and anticipation, and royalty. And every week, the light grew and grew until we had one, two, three, four Advent candles burning. And there is a new light with us tonight. A lot of us keep a white candle in the center of our Advent wreath that we call, we call it the Christ candle, and we light that when Christmas has finally come. The sun has set, and we can now say, Merry Christmas. The people who walked in darkness saw a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them has light shined. We heard those words in the reading from the prophet Isaiah, they walked in darkness, but on them a light has shined. I wonder what that great light could be. I wonder. If I had all of you sitting here with me in Bethel Hall tonight, I know somebody would say, Jesus, it's Jesus. I think so. I wonder if Mary and Joseph felt like they were walking in the darkness. Not just the literal darkness. They knew that this baby would be the Messiah, the star child of God. Yet they had no place to go. They had no choice but to leave Nazareth and walk 
to Bethlehem and walk and walk. This took several days, and it probably took even longer because Mary was about to have a baby. No one would take them in. They sought refuge in a stable. This could not have been easy. So in our midst, in the midst of our comfort and joys, in this wonderful, sparkly, joyful time of year, we also know that many in our world are in a land of deep darkness. This has been a hard time. There are a lot of unknowns. There are a lot of things right now that are scary and different and new. It is easy to be overwhelmed. It is easy to be afraid. But the angels have a message. They say, do not be afraid, for behold, I'm bringing you some good news. Behold, it's an old-fashioned, fancy kind of word, but it means look, look. But listen closely to that word. Will you say it with me? Behold, be, hold. <laughs> be here, in this place, wherever we are, with the Christ child now among us today. Be Christ's light out of this place, shedding light on the land of deep darkness. Hold in your heart everyone who needs that light. Hold closely the joy of Jesus, the great light of Christmas, do not be afraid. Behold, the dark night wakes, the glory breaks, and Christmas comes once more. Amen. We continue with the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God and light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. Jesus, whose mother was Mary, we pray for God's people throughout the world. For our presiding bishop, Michael, for our bishops, Andy, Kay, Jeff, and Hector, for Alinafe, Bishop of Southern Malawi, for this gathering, and for all ministers and people. 
Lord Jesus, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Jesus, cradled in a manger, we pray for the poor, the sick, the hungry, the oppressed, and those in prison. Lord Jesus, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Jesus, sharing the stable with the animals, we pray for the good earth which God has given us and for the wisdom and will to conserve it. Lord Jesus, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Jesus, worshiped by shepherds and kings, we pray for peace, for goodwill among nations, and for the well-being of all people. Lord Jesus, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Jesus, our Emmanuel, we pray for those for whom prayers have been requested through St. David's and for those who have died. Lord Jesus, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Story of 
And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed hallowed be thy thy name. Thy Thy kingdom kingdom come, thy thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Almighty God bless us with his grace. Christ gives us the joys of everlasting life, and unto the fellowship of the citizens above, may the King of angels bring us all. Amen. 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 A few brief announcements. Please do join us at 7.30 tonight for our Christmas lessons and carols, or you can watch that same service on Christmas Day at 10 a.m. when we do our pajama watch party. On Sunday, December 27th at 9 a.m., we will have our Christmas pageant service with all the components of the normal pageant, just in a different format. We hope to see you online for that as we hear the story and see the pageant pictures, new and old. We are looking for five parishioners to be nominees for the three-year term positions that will become open on the vestry at the annual parish meeting on January 31st. Expectations and requirements for nomination submission can be found on the website and we're in your Advent pickup. The deadline for submissions is January 13th. And as always, more upcoming events are listed on the last page of the bulletin and on our website. And now our blessing. May God the Creator keep you in all your days. May God the Redeemer shield you in all your ways. May God the Spirit bring you healing and peace. May God the Holy Trinity drive all darkness from you and pour your blessing and light. Amen. 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 And now go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God.